Hmm. I wonder what lives here. Let's take a closer look in the plants and see what we discover. plants and animals living together in this habitat. Let's make a habitat of our own. Let's start by adding some rocks and branches. Tap on the book if you want to hear about the things you can add to your habitat. Tap on the things in the tray to learn about them. When you are ready to add something, tap the book to close it. These branches that have fallen from the tree make great homes for all kinds of bugs. Drag the branch to the ground. Let's keep going. Plants. Flowers. Now we can choose a plant to add. You can always use my book to learn more information. Leafy plants are good food for lots of bugs. Flowers have a watery liquid inside called nectar that many animals like to eat. have a watery juice inside called nectar. I wonder what animals will drink it. Let's look around. Wow, this is so interesting. Let's keep going. Now we get to add animals. Lots of different animals live together here. Let's pick one and learn what happens. Worm, leaf cutter ant. Ants live in large groups. They work together to collect leaves to take back to their nests. I notice each time we add to the habitat, new plants and animals can live there. Snail, bark centipede. Bark centipedes eat small insects. Snails are food for animals like birds and snakes. going up. I wonder what we'll discover. Different animals can be found living here. I wonder what we'll find. Ladybug larva. Oak tree hopper. Tree hoppers eat sap. That's a sticky liquid found in the stem of the plants. Ladybug larva eat lots and lots of aphids. These are larvae, or baby ladybugs. How will they need to change to be adult ladybugs? We can take a closer look at the plants and animals with this magnifying glass. Move the magnifying glass over a plant or animal and click it to see it up close. The jaws of leafcutter ants work like a pair of scissors to cut leaves into pieces. Ants are super strong for their size. They can carry 50 times their body weight. The ladybug larva is black with red spots. Two-striped grasshopper. Praying Mantis Nymph. The Praying Mantis Nymph eats small insects like aphids and ants. Grasshoppers eat lots of different plants.
This is a nymph, or a baby praying mantis. I wonder how it will change as it grows. The praying mantis folds up their front legs and can very quickly reach out to grab other insects to eat. The praying mantis has a very flexible neck and can turn its head all the way around to look behind. Oak tree hopper, two striped grasshopper. Tree hoppers eat sap. That's a sticky liquid found in the stem of the plants. Grasshoppers eat lots of different plants. Tree hoppers can be very colorful. What do you notice about the colors of the other bugs? The tree hopper has six legs that help it move around or jump quickly when it needs to run away. The jaws of leafcutter ants work like a pair of scissors to cut leaves into pieces. This is the adult mantis. It looks similar to when it was a nymph, but now it has wings. Let's keep exploring. Monarch caterpillar. Swallowtail caterpillar. The swallowtail caterpillar eats lots and lots of plants. Monarch caterpillars only eat from one plant, called milkweed. Caterpillars are the baby form of butterflies. I wonder what colors and patterns this butterfly will have. You can spot a monarch caterpillar by its yellow, white, and black striped pattern. Monarch caterpillars eat a lot of food. That helps them get enough energy to turn into a butterfly later. The mantis has five eyes. It has two large eyes and three smaller eyes. It can see very well. The shape of the tree hopper helps it camouflage. It looks just like a thorn or a bump on a plant. Honeybee, yellow jacket wasp. Yellow jacket wasps eat flower nectar and plant sap. Honeybees make honey. They collect nectar from flowers, then take it back to their home to make honey. Honeybees tell each other where food is in a special way. They do something called a waggle dance with their bodies. I notice the honeybee has two sets of wings. It has bigger ones in the front and smaller ones in the back. Swallowtail caterpillar, yellow jacket wasp. The swallowtail caterpillar eats lots and lots of plants. Yellow jacket wasps eat flower nectar and plant sap. Wasps live in groups called colonies. The ladybug is now an adult. It has a red shell with spots on it. Wow, this is so interesting. Let's keep going. I wonder what we'll find. Bumblebee. Ruby-throated hummingbird. Bumblebees eat nectar and pollen from flowers. The hummingbird drinks nectar from flowers. It can fly in one place while it eats from the flower. The ruby-throated hummingbird is a small bird that flaps its wings very fast. It can fly around from spot to spot very quickly. Hummingbirds eat by sticking their long, skinny bill and tongue into flowers to drink its watery nectar. This hummingbird likes to drink from orange and red flowers best. I notice a bright red patch on this hummingbird's throat. What do you notice? Monarch butterflies feed on nectar from flowers using their proboscis, a long tube that lets them drink up the nectar. I notice the monarch butterfly's wings are orange, with patterns of black lines and white dots. American Robin, loggerhead shrike. The 
Shrike eats all kinds of things, including lizards, insects, and even small birds. The robin loves to eat earthworms and also eats lots of different insects, fruits, and berries. The Shrike bird gets its food by sitting up high, spotting it, and quickly diving down to catch it. Flowers provide food for many animals in this habitat. We finished our habitat. I love nature. Let's keep exploring.